their geographical borders. The starting right. So we have been trying to uh, really help our clients in doing so, but we understand that there's a, a huge gap in the market. So if you look in Brazil right now, housing so right, resuming right, years old, forty percent of this population have no bank account, and that's because they have no access to banks or they think the taxes or the fees that the banks charge them are too high for them to keep a bank account open. And I think there's a sector where fintechs can really come into hand and reach this market and really help these people access a global uh, English free rate. So they are people that do not have a current bank account, but they do have relatives in other countries and they do need to remit money to them or receive payments from abroad. Or most of our clients, they have a very different profile from that. They are where they lead from Sao Paulo and they have a global life that they want to access financial services across the globe. So we have the two, uh, I guess, extremes in that sense. So we have that elite that has to move money abroad just because they have investments in different countries. But we also have those people that, I mean, they have the need to access different markets, but for them it's really difficult because of the financial industry, the way it's built. So what we try to do is really provide a platform where our clients can access these markets in a very easy and transparent way. And I guess the technology really helps in that sense. What we see as a really part of the deal over here is really to be able to understand well the bureaucracy that we navigate in, especially in Brazil, which is a pretty bureaucratic country, but also from other legislations that we uh, currently operate in. So uh, this understanding of the legislations and of the KYC and AML needed really help us provide a good service for the clients and really an environment that they feel safe navigating financial services in a way that it's borderless. Right. Now, if you can speak upon that, so when you go into different markets uh, outside of Brazil, how do you go about understanding the legislation and the regulations in different markets to gain research to make sure that obviously you're going under the current borders uh, regulations and, and limitations? Um, how do you go about finding out uh, and, and establishing the, the right regulations in these areas? Sure. So uh, over here in Brazil, we work very closely with the Brazilian Central Bank. They have been very open to understand fintechs and really how we can adjust a legislation that was built for banks. But nowadays we have such a different scenario that they have been trying to understand it and adapt the legislation that we have. So our strategy has always been to work very close with the uh, regulators, right? So when we go to the UK, we work very closely to the FCA, really because we want to understand how we can provide a good service, but we think the limitations of the legislation that, that we have currently. But also we work uh, a lot with international partners, so they help us understand these different legislations and how we can navigate these different systems. We also, uh, especially for KYC and AML, we integrate a lot of uh, partners' APIs to our system. So that gives us some parameters to work with uh, in different countries. So that's very helpful when we are really accessing different markets. 